What's up guys, Mr. Game is back again, and today I want to continue this line of videos I've been doing. I uh, did the first one on the uh, small game perk that's coming into the game in the next update. Hopefully it's nerfed a little bit because bye bye hex totems. But today I want to talk about the DS decisive strike changes that have been in the game for a little bit now and why I think it's an unhealthy and lazy change to the perk. Um, a lot of people are going to say that, you know, I'm not one of those... <laughs> I'm not one of those people that are going to scream, oh my god, DS destroyed the game. I'm just going to get tunneled every game now. Everyone needs to get a grip. I'm not, I'm not doing that. Um, I just want to discuss why it's lazy design and why it further creates an unhealthy element to the game. And, and that's what all these are about. Is The small game was about an unhealthy design that's going to make the game worse. Uh, and I do think that DS is not complete and not finished. I do think that it does need some more changes for it to be an actual good perk, viable perk, and most of all, healthy for the general game. So before, when you, you know, got hooked uh, and you'd get unhooked and then you'd have a minute timer for DS to run out, that did create situations where survivors and especially survivor friends, because that's where it gets exploded, you know what I mean? Like the effect. Um, you could abuse the killer with it. You could basically just sit on a gen and be happy with yourself, you know, go into a locker, waste their time sort of thing. And if you're an idiot killer, you'll just wait. <laughs> but yeah, I do think it were, it could be abused before and I don't think it was healthy for the game. And it was in for the longest time as well. It takes them so long to change survivor perks negatively. Positively, holy shit, look at the last update. <laughs> but anyway, the new DS now dictates that once you've been hooked, you get unhooked, you still have that minute timer where you're protected, um, but you're protected against tunneling. You can't repair a generator, you can't heal yourself, you can't cleanse a totem, you can't sabotage a hook, and you can't unhook others. It'll disrupt the meter and you can be hooked again without a DS happening. Um, so yeah, basically the devs saw it as we don't want you to progress the game because you can abuse it, you can just sit happily you know, on a gen. Um, and this was the reasoning behind their change. However, I still think this is unhealthy. So most survivors who run DS, I find, usually do just run to a corner of the map and just wait there or just wait somewhere safe. Um, if they're being tunneled, great, it works as intended. That's good as well. But for the survivors that do run away and don't get tunneled, it's a minute of not doing anything. They can sit there, maybe around a corner of a shack or whatever. They might have a med kit or something like that, and they don't want they don't want to touch it because they don't want to lose their DS. But at the same time, they're like, well, the killer's not around. Maybe I should just start healing. So the perk becomes superfluous. It becomes non-existent. And to what I'm reading on the forums and Twitter, a mostly useless perk. To me, this is unhealthy for the game. Going anywhere away from the radius, away from doing anything in the game is A, boring, it's B, unhealthy for the game, and C, what does it really do for the person? I had a conversation with a couple of people and my counter argument initially was, well, it's like high risk, high reward, isn't it? It's like a hex totem perk or whatever. You run ruined, there's a chance it can be destroyed. Once it's destroyed, you run out of a perk. I think that's unhealthy too, really, when I think about it in general. And DS is a lot like that. It's great if you have it and it works, but this this current meta, no one's really using DS. I've been, you know, I've not seen it much. I've been counting every single time I have a game, how many I see. It's nowhere near the level it used to be. What does that tell you? It tells me that the perk is now pretty shit. No one wants to run into a corner of a map and be bored for a minute. I'm, I'm just thinking, what can we do to improve this perk? Um, I, I just think the answer to DS is not doing nothing for, you know, a minute. I think that's boring. <laughs> it doesn't do anything for the game that you're currently in. I do think it's great that you have a second chance. Um, I just don't know if it's worth all the parameters that they've changed since this update. I honest to God think that, and by the way, I want to... I'm going to really spell this out to people. I'm not a Survivor main. I, I mostly play Killer. Well, playing Survivor a whole lot more lately. I'll definitely say that. 
Um, but unhooking a survivor, uh, especially if you're in like a survivor friends or something like that, you still want DS to kind of blend in to the, to the meta. Do you know what I mean? So I think maybe unhooking survivors should just be left alone. I think maybe if they took that away and your DS counter could still be there, because that way, if you do go for the save, you, you unhook them and you get hit, you still have that DS. So... I mean, some people might say you're abusing it by that, by doing that, but I just think it's too strict right now. And I think again with the devs, it's lazy design. It's just put them in the corner for a minute. I don't think that's good for the game. Um, and yeah, obviously hex perks as well. High risk, high reward. It's destroyed. Then you lose a perk slot. I just think stuff like that's just too strict as well. Um, and I think maybe we could find a better way, come together as a community and come up with some better ideas. That's why I'm creating this video. I want you guys' ideas on what you think DS could be changed to to make it not only a good perk, but also a healthy perk for the game. I honestly don't think it did any of these things with the change. I think they're going in the right direction, but just they've kind of just plummeted somewhere. It's that minute of doing nothing, mate. I don't want to see immature comments saying, we'll just heal. <laughs> I, I don't, come on. It's, let's go by the rules of the perk, okay? It tells you you've got a minute not to be tunneled. Okay, let's go with that first. But anyway, guys, what do you guys think? Please, again, leave your comments down below. I want to hear what you guys say. Let us know what you think about the DS changes and what you would change if you could about DS. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next week. See you later.